Well, when I rode the Tester of the Hunter, what, about a month ago, uh, I promised more to come. And uh, here is the more to come. Um, this one is mine. I just brought it home. It has a grand total of uh, about 12 miles on it now. I just did a pretty good ride on it. Let's turn around here and see what she's got. Yeah, 12.6 miles. And as the miles went by, it started to loosen up and became more torquey, which was uh, uh, kind of a pleasure, you know. Um, I was skeptical about this little motorcycle when I first rode it because I thought it was uh, underpowered. Uh, but you know what? It's it's not a barn burner, but it's not supposed to be. It's uh, It rides like a thumper. <laughs> It's got plenty of low-end torque. Uh, it doesn't rev out, it just sort of pulls. And it's nimble. Uh, it's easy to ride, it's got a low saddle height. And uh, it's just a sweetheart of a bike. It's very, 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 very friendly. Uh, took it up on the highway and yeah, it runs out of breath above about 65 miles an hour. But that may improve as it gets some more miles on it. But uh, yeah, it's not really intended for the freeway, it's intended for around town and it seems to do that very well. Uh, the suspension's a bit stiff, but I think that'll loosen up with, uh, with some time, and I'll have to check the preload on the shocks. And uh, after I parked it where it sits right now, I got this out of the garage <laughs> and rode it as a, uh, as a comparison piece. Uh, this is my 2016 KTM Duke 390. Uh, it's a bike I'm not terribly familiar with because I haven't had it that long either. I, just rebuilt it, uh, bought it as a basket case and rebuilt it. Yeah, women can do that too. But anyway, this thing is very high strung. Uh, it's a rever. It doesn't have any bottom end torque at all. You gotta rev it up to get it going. Uh, when you get it up in the power band, it pulls like crazy. Um, it's a little slower steering, believe it or not, than the, than the Hunter is. Uh, the seating position is much different. You're much further forward and arms are wider and so on. It's not uncomfortable, it's just different. And the saddle height, notably, for me anyway, is higher. Uh, probably a good half inch, maybe more than that, which in my small stature really makes a difference. Um, which bike do I prefer? Well, it's kind of early to tell, but from a snapshot basis, that one. Uh, and the reason is it's much friendlier, much easier to ride. Uh, the Duke is more of a go out and raise hell kind of bike and uh, I'm a little old for that but it is fun to get on there and feel that power and it has power in abundance uh, they're both light uh, they're both easy to push around they're both manageable um, they're both fun so you know there we have it just sort of an impromptu follow-up on the on my previous Duke video or not Duke but Hunter video and uh, here is my Hunter, and I just love the looks of it. The black, the silver, and the yellow accents. You know, she's just a gorgeous bike. And that's one sweetheart of a motor right there. That's a, that's a cool one. This has got one of the sweetest sounding exhaust systems for a stock system that I have ever heard. I mean, listen to this. You kind of hit it out of the park. It's a, it's such a cool little bike. And some final thoughts here while I stand in the garage, <laughs> petting her on the seat, wishing I could ride her today, but the weather is just too crappy. But anyway. Um, one of my favorite bikes, and it was one of the ones that I wish I had never gotten rid of, uh, was a 81 or 82 uh, SR500 Yamaha. Uh, it was, those of you who knew it, uh, knew what I'm talking about. I think it was 28 horsepower. It was only eight more horsepower than the, uh, the Hunter, but it made quite a bit more torque, and it, it made it right off of idle. 
Um, it uh, was a just a solid bike. Uh, it handled well. It had a really good chassis. It was light. Uh, it was kickstart only, but it had a compression release and an indicator on the cam with a little window on the uh, 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 cam tower that you would line up and then you could kickstart it and it wouldn't try to launch you over the handlebars. It was uh, carbureted um, and there was parts of plenty to make it go faster if you wanted to do that. Um, it, the, the Hunter reminds me an awful lot of that bike. It's a simple, simple design. It's a thumper and it, and it, it celebrates being a thumper by the way it sounds and the way it looks. Uh, it's less horsepower, but you know, the, the way the, the SR delivered the horsepower was pretty much even all the way across the board. It had a top speed of about 85 miles an hour and the Hunter's similar to that. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's nimbler. Uh, it's got fuel injection. It's more modern. It's electric start. You know, it's kind of updated, but it has the same kind of personality the SR did. Uh, I miss that bike, and I'll tell you what, I was reluctant at first to buy the Hunter. I loved the way it looked. Uh, my first test ride on it, I thought it was underwhelming, but as I came to think about it more, uh, and then at, after I saw this beautiful black and silver paint scheme, uh, you know, that was it. I, I, I had to, I traded in my Continental GT, and and now I'm a very happy owner of uh, this little 350cc thumper. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm a long time rider. I started riding when I was 14 and now I'm a woman of a certain age. I've had many, many, many bikes, including my very first one, that one right there, which is a 305 Superhawk. Uh, oh, prove it, they say. Well, okay. There she is, 305 Superhawk. See that motor? Yeah. Anyway, I bought this in 1973 and restored it about 10 years ago. But um, anyway, that was the first of a long line of motorcycles. Um, I'm at the end of the road now. I've got this, I've got that, and I have this, uh, this KTM, which is the antithesis of the, of the, uh, of the, of the Hunter. It's a high strung, <laughs> very visceral, um, not so easy to ride bike, but anyway, I, what I was going to say, and I'll, I'll go ahead and say it now, you know, I'm not a videographer and I'm not an influencer, so I'm just telling you like it is. Um, you know, if you're thinking about a hunter, I don't think you'd go wrong. It's a pretty terrific bike. You know, there's all the slick productions out there that tell you what a great bike it is and so on. There's some people that poo-poo it. Uh, I'd refer you back to Stuart Fillingham. He's, he's, uh, he's done the definitive reviews of it. And he goes in much more depth than I do, and or will. <laughs> and he's uh, um, much better at videography than I am. Anyway, from just a plain person uh, and a woman's point of view, you'd be very happy with this. And I know I'm going to be. So there you are. Thanks for watching, everybody.